survivors and welcome to another walking dead road to survival video and in this video we are going to be going over some teasers for some characters that should be released in the month of june or there or thereabouts we are going to be going over four new characters but i will say i've got a teaser video coming out for another character so stay tuned for that one as well but these four characters are going to be pretty interesting to look at the first character we're going to be taking a look at who is going to be released in june is going to be a brand new version of abraham now as you can see on the screen this is the visual that we have of abraham pretty interesting on the visuals for sure abraham in the back of a like a car vehicle very very much geared up as you would expect abraham to be he's got rocket launchers he's got rifles grenades he's got like some sort of missile shells in there as well they're probably the, the rockets for the rocket launcher but he also has an extremely interesting weapon in his hands i do wonder if that's going to be an attached weapon for him we'll have to wait and see there but on the visuals alone you'd probably assume this character is going to be a tough character he is holding that i don't know what that would be even considered is that like a gatling gun that he's holding with two hands i really don't know it's like an mg and he is 100 looking like a tough character i don't think there's any debate there now some of the information i have been given on him he is going to be an attack team character and i have been given one of his passives and this is the passive as it says it says when taking out a target this fighter recovers from three negative status effects and gets 100 ap now if this is an expected damage dealer you would assume that this character could then potentially be rushing every single turn which could be very powerful depending on how powerful that rush is also the cleanse is nice bleed burn infection all that good stuff is really nice to be able to take out also certain debilitating status effects so for instance if he was impaired and he did his signature move and then took someone out potentially he'll be cleansing um impair but i think he would obviously cleanse the impair after the ap game so he'd already have to have his rush if he was to get that but then again it could potentially give him the ap after the cleanse i'll have to test this out when i preview the character but that's just alone that that passive by itself is very interesting he will have to have a pretty heavy hitting kit and i have been told he is more of a damage dealer so we'll have to you know wait and see with abraham here and i want to see the visuals on the character it has he got this weapon attached is it going to look crazy taking up half the screen yes please I, I, you know rocket a was pretty good but this one it looks pretty special too now when it comes to the specialist skill i have been told that he is going to be an attack specialist so he's not going to be a leader we'll have to wait and see what that specialist is going to be but it is a specialist that is more viable on damage dealers and we did just have ruben come out who was a follow-up to and tough so i would assume that it's not going to be the same specialist skill there now the next character we're going to look at is very interesting indeed it is going to be a new shiva character but it's also going to be an ezekiel because it's going to be ezekiel and shiva as a combined character kind of like we have um what is it eva and ghost so this is going to be ezekiel and shiva and it looks like basically just as ezekiel is like leaving the zoo by the looks of things he looks like he's leaving a zoo right now as you see shiva has like the necklace with the little um tiger like i don't know what would that be like icon around her neck it does look like a little bit of a smaller version of shiva we'll have to wait and see when i actually preview the character and i can see the character art if it is effectively a baby shiva like we have got a baby version of um of ghost that would be really really cool um really nice idea with this i'm not really sure what the trait is going to be it could be fast it could be strong i'd be very surprised if it was anything but fast or strong but we'll have to wait and see i have been told that this character is going to be more of a defense team character and i have got one of the abilities at the start of each wave and turn a hundred percent chance to remove counter damage reduction from two enemies this would obviously mean if you have got counter damage reduction from a leader like for instance maggie after the first initial fight starting two of the characters in that team would have counter damage reduction removed this would also happen 
in a Lone Wolves attack team with Philip Blake as the leader. So just be aware of that. There are characters now that can apply counter damage reduction, like Ruben, who can do that when he does parts of his kit. So that will also get removed, but the turn he applies it, any follow-up damage that happens afterwards will still be able to occur. However, characters that apply it at the beginning of the fight and only at the beginning of the fight will slowly get that de like deteriorate very quickly, honestly. Two at the beginning of the fight, then two at the beginning of the enemy's turn. So when it comes back to you, you've only got one counter damage reduction if you have a Maggie lead on your turn two, which would generally be your Adrenaline Rush team. So potentially a very problematic character when it comes to being on a defense team. This is going to be a defense team specialist as well. And because this character has counter damage reduction removal, I wouldn't be surprised if this character had counter damage in some sort of way, be it from the special skill, be it from the weapon, be it from you know something that's going to reflect damage back in some sort of way. But like I said, this character is going to be more of a defense team fighter. Shiva and Ezekiel has a new duo character coming to RTS. Now the next character we're going to be doing a little preview of is going to be a new version of Magna. And this character, I think we've only ever had one version of Magna before, and it was the alert character from way early on in the Mythic era that it was quite hard to get the character's versions of. And she wasn't too bad, but I think she just was quite hard to get versions of, and it just made it so that other defense leaders were a bit more viable. But this is going to be a new version of this character. And with the introduction of this character, it's also, I've been told, going to be the introduction of a brand new allegiance we'll have to see what that allegiance is going to be but i've been told this character is going to be a defense leader for that allegiance as well as a specific trait i don't know exactly what that is going to be we'll have to wait and see on the actual leader skill itself now when it comes to the trait i think it's pretty obvious this character looks like it's gonna be a fast character she is holding a machete pretty interesting on the visuals nothing too over the top pretty basic however i do have information on one of this character's passives and it is when anyone is taken out while this fighter is on the defense team 60 percent chance all teammates recover from normalize and get 100 percent normalize resistance for two turns this does mean that anyone is on the defense team with magna who does have sort of new kish abilities to take down an enemy would obviously have the potential of buffing her defense team. 100% normalized resistance means that only control role characters can bypass that to apply normalize. And there aren't too many characters that can do that. Pretty much Eva and Ghost being the only control role character, I think, that has potential normalize right now. Pretty decent, especially if you team up with particular specialists, ones that actually rely on, obviously, their specialist skill to continue working. Characters that have, for instance, counter damage. A team up potentially with this character and the Ezekiel and Shiva could be there just because of the fact that if you're going to be removing counter damage, you would want the characters that can do counter damage to not be normalized. So maybe a decent combo between those two characters as it stands. But like I say, a new defense leader coming to the game who is going to be part of a new allegiance. Now, the last character that I'm going to be taking a look at today is going to be another combo character. And it is going to be Scotsman and Baby Brutus. So pretty much the same as Eva and Ghost and potentially Shiva and Ezekiel or Ezekiel and Shiva. Um, it is going to be a Scotsman and a Baby Brutus, which is obviously amazing. I'm not sure if the visuals in the fight are going to be Scotsman holding Brutus or if Brutus is going to be on the floor, you know, kind of how it is with Eva and Ghost. We'll have to wait and see there. But on the art, very much is holding in his hands. Kind of got that William Wallace vibe going on as well. The blue paint on the face and the, uh, the sword on his back. I'm not sure what the trait would be here. I would assume it would be Melly just because he's got a chain in his hands and it looks like it potentially could be the weapon. But they sometimes have done this sort of thing and it's seen as a ranged weapon, so it could be alert too. We'll have to wait and see when the character is released. But I will say part of this character's kit is kind of familiar when it comes to a character that was in the six star era 
and I'll just read out the signature move here and it's taunt an enemy for the rest of combat. If that enemy already has the taunt status effect, taunt that line of enemies for three turns instead. This fighter gets 50% defense which increases by 25% each turn for the rest of combat. And I will say this character is more of an attack team character and is going to be the next monthly fighter. So the next character of the monthly events the one that comes after the current Martinez event will be this fighter. I can give a little hint on the character that it used to be part of. It was Romanov in the Six Star era and he had Berserker 1. And this character has the special skill Berserker 2. So you're going to be taunting fighters into your Berserker special skill. And then obviously gaining AP but also attack procs on those Berserker procs to give yourself more damage for upcoming adrenaline rushes. If you remember how Romanov did work back then, quite a lot of fun, but also even some potential cheesy usage on defense teams. So there potentially could be a usage there as well. So like I said, this is the next monthly fighter coming out in RTS. Really cool that they're going to be doing like this combo characters in Shiva and Ezekiel and now Scotsman and Brutus. I do like that the one is going to be way more free to play, which is obviously really nice. I'm not sure of the sourcing of the other three characters, but this one is definitely the upcoming monthly event character. So that's it on the kind of little teaser information on what is coming in June. Like I said, there is going to be another character which I'm going to be doing a separate teaser for by themselves, just because I needed to get a little bit more extra information on them. But potentially, you know, hopefully it's going to be kind of exciting for you guys. I will be releasing a preview of Brutus and Scotsman hopefully within the next 48 hours if you have any thoughts about any of these characters that i have previewed please leave them in the comments down below that is the end of my video i want to thank you very much for tuning in and as always keep on surviving guys keep on surviving <laughs>